see. It turns out they've been going at it behind my back for months. No, no, I mean, she loves you and that little lad. Tell her. Please, Peter, don't do this, I'm begging you. Tell her! I made a really terrible mistake. I didn't mean to do it. I'm really sorry. All the snivelling in the world not save you now. This is doing no one any good. You've made your point. Be quiet. I haven't started yet. Look at her. She begs me. She begs me. But not a week ago, I would have done anything that she asked. She was the love of my life. She was a mother to my kid. A kid who flaming adored her. She was our whole world. Well, there you go. That's horse for you. They can pretend to be anything you want them to be. Come on now. That's Don't you dare open your mouth again. Because I swear to God, they'll be the last words that you ever say. Now you sit down. Oh, you've got to hand it to the Barlows. The, the value for money at a wedding. Will you please shut up and put your coat on. I really don't think this is an appropriate place. I'm sorry, Vicar, but I thought these places were supposed to be about truth. And that's why. I couldn't let her stand there and lie through her teeth all over again like she did in hospital. No. No, I wasn't lying. I meant every word. Oh, yeah, maybe you did. Till death do us part. Which she thought it would before the night was out. But I disappointed her. I disappointed both of them. No, that's not true. Don't insult me. I'm sure there were compensations. It must have been even easier for you falling a cripple. Hmm? Not like I was going to burst in on you, is it? But you see, that wasn't enough for him, was it? You had to take it that one step further. I don't know what you're talking about. Jolly, you've not forgotten, Nick. You were my faithful drinking buddy, weren't you? Always there to help me down from the wagon with a sly bottle of vodka or three. Where are you going, Norris? You frightened they'll want a refund on the confetti? <laughs> Sit down, all of you. Sit down! The speeches aren't over yet. There's still so many people I have to thank for making today possible. I hope you're proud of yourself. It wasn't just these two that took me for a fool, though. He knew. And Deirdre. And what would any decent father do in that situation? I'll tell you what he did. Nothing. Never said a dicky bird. He just stood by and watched me marry her. It wasn't Ken's fault. I pleaded with him to give me another chance. I made a judgment in your best interest. <laughs> Ark at King Solomon there. And what makes you, of all people, think you know best when it comes to relationships? It was over when we found out about it. What, and that makes it all right? Playing away might be second nature to you, Pear, but it's not the way that normal people carry on! Hey! You were never whiter than white! But Janice, please, don't make it any worse. No, no. Janice is right. I've been no angel. I've spent a lifetime fighting my genes. But I won that fight. I would have been faithful. Isn't that right, Carla? Yeah. Leanne's best mate there. Cracking looking bird. I think you'll all agree. But a lot like my best man, it transpires. You see, while me and this tart were planning our wedding, Carla was doing her damnedest to get me into bed. Told me she loved me, no less. Loved me. In fact, she loved me so much that when she found out about these two, she kept quiet and all. Secretly hoping I'd twig it myself and come running to her. Well, as you can see, Carla, I'm not running anywhere. Here endeth the lesson. Enjoy the reception. Have one for me. Be a cow sometimes, but at least I stab people in the front. But you two! Whispering away in corners, taking my brother for a prat. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I've been through. Oh, I knew enough to stop him making the biggest mistake of his life again. 
So it was you? No. I just confirmed it. You found your ticket to Milan. You should have gone, love. She will, with me. Come Don't on. you touch me! I mean, you've done enough damage, didn't you hear it? This is all your fault! I'm mine. Nobody deserves what he did to you today. Yeah, I did. I deserved every word thanks to you. Now leave me alone because I need to speak to my husband. Oh, that ship has sailed. You've got nothing to say that he wants to hear. Tracy, go home. You're not going to listen to... I'll see you later. Go home. Nick, please. Not really. I just wanted you to know what it was like to suffer the way I have. You think I don't know? Knowing what I've done to you and Simon all these months. Oh, I hurt every bit as much as you. Even more because I know it's all my fault. Well, if it was so painful, how comes it never crossed your mind when you were sleeping with him? It did. Oh, it did all the time. But I was needy. Selfish. I don't have any excuses. Well, what's this? Honesty, Leanne. Well, better late than never, I suppose, eh? It was over a long time ago. Months for me. But Nick wouldn't give up on it. He wouldn't let it go. But I knew what I wanted, and that was you and Simon. Yeah. It was true. What I told you when I married you in that hospital, when I said those vows, I meant every word. So if I had a croat, you wouldn't be with Nick right now. Oh, no, I thought so. You see, Leanne, I'll never know what you were really thinking when you married me. I'll never be sure that when you were holding my hand that you weren't secretly hoping that every breath I took would be my last breath. You can't really believe that! I don't know what to believe anymore. But I know what I don't believe. That it will ever be over between you two. No. No way! You might have learned to walk again, Peter, but you don't walk away from me, not today! If me and Nick wasn't dead and buried, then why didn't I just go off with him now? Why didn't I go to Milan? You don't like Italian food? I don't know. I've stopped trying to second-guess you. I'm still here because I love you, and I don't want to give up on us. You gave up on us. You let him take you to his bed. I'll bet for all I know. It was never like that. Okay, then what was it like? Explain it to I me. I really can't. No more than you can. What? Adultery's grounds for divorce, yes. But here's another one. Unreasonable behaviour. Oh. And believe me, what I've had to put up with would more than fill your puny little envelope. Oh, there we go. So much for no excuses. There's a difference between excusing something and understanding it. You have no idea what it's like. Coming home every night, opening the door, not knowing who you're going to find. Because living with you, there's about eight different Peters to choose from when you're on the booze, including this one. You've got a flaming nerve. If you couldn't have forgiven me, you should have just sent me packing quietly. For your own sake. And for our Simons, but oh no. Better have today's little performance, even though it achieved nothing. You got everything you deserved. Yeah. You said that yourself. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Not because you did it with a blessing. Nothing could hurt me more than knowing that I'd lost you. And I, Simon, nothing. The fact that there was an audience makes no odds. I wanted them to know the truth. <laughs> they don't care, Beza. Not really. The only person you've hurt is yourself. And worst of all, your son. I don't know full facts. So where do we go from here? You lost me at we. Read the letter. It's finished. No. I don't want that and I don't believe you want that either. After today? Especially after today. You don't feel that kind of pain if you've never felt that kind of love. And what would you know about that? I know because something that intense just doesn't disappear. I know because I still love you and I know that you still love me. Deep down, 
I saw it under all that radar. I saw you still cared. Well, believe it or not, that wasn't the impression I was trying to convey. Yeah, well, you did. You did to me. Then you're deluded. So let me make this crystal clear. I despise you. I curse the day we met and every moment that we spent together after that. I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear you. I don't want to hear about you. I don't want anything to do with you. As far as I'm concerned, that bouquet in your hand may as well be a wreath. <laughs> to itv.com slash Corrie now to find out how Valentine's Day went for Ken and Deirdre in the first episode of Bedtime Stories, exclusive to ITV Online. And the Coronation Street Tram Crash DVD is coming soon and is available to pre-order now. <laughs>